today I thought that I would film how I pack and ship my orders at Totes for You because a lot of you guys are interested in the behind the scenes of running my business and I know that I get so many questions asking how I ship my orders and how I pack them and just the whole process so I thought I would show you today all of that. Do let me know if you enjoy this vlog in the comments and give it a like and remember to subscribe because I think we're nearly at 7k which is just so good um, so yeah let's get on with packing the orders first things first this is my workspace where I make the tote bags only the tote bags are made here we have both of the embroidery machines we've got all of this embroidery thread which there's just so many gorgeous colors um, so this is where the tote bags are made but I'm now gonna go and show you where everything else is stored because we actually have a studio slash stock room you'll know what I mean when I show you this is a stock room for now it used to be a studio space we have a desk in here that I used to pack orders at um, but as the business has grown we've just got so much stock that it is currently just all kept in here so I'm gonna quickly turn you around um, I'm not gonna give you a full tour because it needs sorting and I might do a vlog where I sort it all um but these are all sorted into small medium and large and um, we've just got some of the sweatshirts that we're going to be packing today and then this is where it sort of gets a bit messy so we've got extra large 2xl but then we've also got a lot of boxes here um which go all the way down which is why I'm not showing you the full room because yeah the full room just needs sorting and I'm gonna do it but I need to get rid of some stock first because I think I just over ordered a bit um we also have this machine here which I use I don't use that often at the moment but I used to use it um to make some sweatshirts and some tote bags overall it's such a great space it just needs sorting um but now i'm going to show you what happens when we get an order on the website because it's in a different area <laughs> once an order is placed on the website and then go to my laptop um i do this about every other day um and i will just find where they place their order so on the website i will turn it around so you guys can see i just go to orders and then wait for them all to show up here so currently we have we have to see how many are unfulfilled currently we have 82 orders unfulfilled so that's what I'm going to be shipping out today or attempting to ship out what I do from here is I click on whatever the person's ordered so this person's ordered an A4 weekly planner and then it gets printed out on our Dymo label machine which just looks like this I just use the Dymo label software so obviously there's no address there because I don't want to show anybody's address but I, this is what it looks like. We have our logo at the top um, and then I'll just pop their address in there and then it gets printed out. I need to actually connect the printer. I am now in the back room. I've printed out all of the labels. Well, not all of them because I just know that I can't get them all shipped today because there's so many. I think I've probably printed out about 40 labels, um, which I'm going to try and get to a post office today. Um, this is what it looks like. I've just got mum in the front room packing some tote bags, but now what I do is I find all of the stock that I need. So... I'll look on the back here this one says XL baby pink um wish you were here so I will go and find that one now which is just over here all of our stock is already folded so this is the XL baby pink that they've ordered should we see who ordered it um that was ordered by Becky Becky thank you so much for your order These are some of the orders that I just picked off the shelf and then what I'll do with these is take them into the packing area and we'll go from there. I've also got some over here as well. There's just not much space in this room right now. These right here are our mailing bags. They just say create a life you can't wait to wake up to. They've got um, our Instagram on there, um, our website. They're customised and also biodegradable which is great. These are our current thank you cards. They just say you're the best. And then on the back, they just have a little note from me just saying thank you. And we also have these um, poly mailers, which are for smaller orders because they're slightly smaller in size. Um, so what I do is I find the label that I want. So for example, let's find an easy one to do. 
This is a grey 3XL, um, which you were here. So what I'll do is I will grab the grey 3XL, which is this one, and then I'll pop it in its polymainer. So grab the polymainer. That just goes in like that. And then put the thank you card in. Um, if they've added like a note to the person that they're gifting it to or anything else, then I'll also put that in at that time. But they haven't. So I'll pop the thank you card in. Take off the seal that's on the bag. Fold that around. And there we go. It's been packed. I will just put on the shipping label um and then it's all ready to be taken to the post office and shipped off Just going to get myself a bag. There we go. There's one. I think we might need two. Um, just to put the parcels in to drop them off at the post office. The lighting is really nice in this. <laughs> Spot me through the plant. Let me try and move that. So now I'm just gonna pop all of the parcels into the big bags to be dropped off at the post office. We've also all of the weekly planners that are packed. Obviously, every item is packed slightly different. For example, the tote bags are wrapped in tissue paper. Um, these ones are in hardback envelopes so they don't get bent. Um, but I thought this was just a good overview of how we pack and ship the orders. Both bags are ready to be taken to the post office. Once all of the orders are packed and have their shipping labels on, so as you can see this one has its shipping label on, they are then dropped off at the post office. I use Royal Mail Drop and Go, which is super good. So all you have to do is put the shipping label on the parcel, um, just the person's address, and then they sort all of it. So they'll weigh the parcels, they'll um, take the money from my Drop and Go account, um, and yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So I drop them off at the post office, which is literally like a five minute walk. Um, we're super close, which is so good. And then the money gets taken out of my account and they're shipped to the sender. Um, there's not often that I have many issues. Sometimes because I ship a large volume of orders, um, one will go missing, um, which is unfortunate, but in them cases, I just have to resend the order. As I did say halfway through this vlog, a lot of things are packaged differently. So if you want to see a video on how different items are packed differently, then let me know because things like our weekly planners, which let me just I think there's some stuff that you can't see. Um, things like these weekly planners, which this one's nearly finished, um, are packed differently just because they're a different item and it makes the most sense. I've had to learn as I go how to pack different items and what's best um, to make sure that they don't get damaged. Um, that's obviously the main reason and then also that it looks cute. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I pack and ship my orders as a small business. As I said, I know this will probably change. Um, it will most definitely change as we scale and grow. This is just how I do it for now and I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more business content from me. And I hope you all have a lovely day.